Apple is gearing up to release next generation versions of AirPods and AirPods Max. Here's what we know so far about Apple's 2024 audio lineup. Starting out with AirPods 4. The third generation AirPods were a bit disappointing. I constantly hear people tell me that they hate the uncomfortable fit, the lack of ANC, and the fact that it's regularly only a few more dollars to upgrade to the pros. With the fourth generation, Apple is ready for a radical overhaul. It'll be introducing two new versions, a low cost model as well as a mid tier option. The entry level model will get redesigned, ditching this first generation aesthetic and moving to a cross between AirPods 3 and AirPods Pro. Of course, it'll also have things like an improved fit and USB-C. Maybe Apple will call the new entry level models like AirPods Lite and the mid tier option will be referred to just as AirPods. Speaking of which, the fourth generation mid tier AirPods will sport the same design as the light version, but will include two additional features. The mid tier will include active noise cancellation or ANC and speakers for Find My built into the case. This will bring Apple's excellent ANC to the sub $200 price point for the very first time. What's not clear is how Apple will do this without silicone ear tips. Rumors have not been clear on whether Apple will include silicone ear tips on this mid tier option or if Apple found a way to do good ANC without them. Let me know down below in the comments which way you think Apple will go here. Finally, both the light and mid tier options will include Apple's new second generation H2 wireless audio chip. It's the same one found in the second generation of the AirPods Pro 2 that debuted in September of 2023. The new chip is a lot more important than it sounds. I know it's not something you regularly hear other audio companies talking about, but Apple puts a lot of pride into its custom silicon. Just by upgrading to the H2, we'll see things like better audio quality thanks to its inclusion of the audio processor. We'll have better battery life because it's more efficient and we'll even be moving to Bluetooth 5.3, which provides better range and reliability. If a lot of these features sound like AirPods Pro, you're not wrong. So why would anyone pay more for the Pro version? It's possible Apple may bring a redesign to the Pro 3, considering it hasn't been updated since the original. There's also been sketchy rumors I've seen that suggest Apple could go completely stemless, but considering how iconic the stems have become to AirPods, I have my doubts. There also may be enough time for Apple to introduce the H3 chip, which could bring more software heavy features, including fitness and health tracking. For current AirPods owners, it sounds like the AirPods Pro 2 could be getting a big new feature this fall called hearing aid mode. It'll launch alongside iOS 18 and it'll help those who suffer from hearing loss. AirPods Pro though are Apple's only high-end headphones. It's also long overdue to update the AirPods Max. Originally launching in late 2020, there's a lot of low-hanging fruit for an AirPods Max update. Despite being so expensive, they still don't support a lot of features. They don't support things like lossless audio on Vision Pro, personalized volume, conversation boost, or adaptive audio. Right now, rumors are saying that AirPods Max 2 will include the new H2 chip and its corresponding benefits, USB-C, some fun new colors, and that's about it. After three years, it's a bit of a disappointing update. I'd love to see some other features, like maybe an updated carrying case. At least these will be coming to buy soon, right? Well, in terms of availability, it seems like the AirPods Max 2 will go on sale by the end of this year, possibly November or December. That's at least better than the AirPods Pro 3. These aren't expected to hit store shelves until sometime in 2025. We did just get the revised versions though last September. The models that I think are most exciting are the new light and mid tier options. Those are expected to release sometime later this year, probably alongside the new iPhones in September. Apple is so bullish on them, it looks like it's already ramping up for a big production run this May of 20 to 25 million units. It'd be the biggest ever launch 
for AirPods? We'll find out soon enough. Let me know down below in the comments which model you're most excited for. Do you want to see new AirPods Max or do you just want better AirPods Pro or perhaps an even better, more powerful entry level option? Let me know. Otherwise, be sure you are subscribed to the channel and I will update you as soon as I hear any new rumors.